Staten Island wants to put the brakes on congestion pricing in Manhattan. The Staten Island Borough President is planning to sue to put a stop to that plan. Kieran Dillon is live at the West End and 61st Street with the story. Kieran. Well, here at this intersection where we are at West 61st and West End, the MTA has already started uh, installing technology where they're going to be able to monitor drivers that are going south on 60th Street starting next uh, next spring for congestion pricing. But, you know, this is a plan that's had a lot of pushback from so many drivers and different municipalities or jurisdictions. And now we're hearing from two just in the last week alone that say they are going to do everything they can to fight against congestion pricing. I could sue individually. I'll sue pre in, as a borough president, or I could sue individually. And we're going to see, we already have other elected officials who have agreed to be plaintiffs. Vito Vasella is leading a Staten Island initiative to sue to put an end to congestion pricing. The borough president says the plan will impact his residents negatively, both financially and environmentally. That's a driving tax on individuals who need to drive on the roads that they already paid for to build and to maintain. Pasella says Staten Islanders already pay a toll to drive out of the borough on the Verrazano Bridge or if they go into Manhattan through New Jersey. He adds residents do not have access to the subway system and have to rely on the bus or ferry if they don't drive. We're the only borough in the city that has to pay a toll to come, go off the island and come back. No other county, and this is not against the other counties, it's just something we have to live with. So along comes this scheme to impose additional costs on a daily basis to people who are already. And you know, it's who's going to affect the most? The person who's on the margins, who can't afford that. Exactly who Fasella will sue, the MTA or the Department of Transportation is still being ironed out. The borough president's announcement comes on the heels of New Jersey announcing this week it is suing the federal DOT to stop congestion pricing on the grounds of a more thorough environmental review. We are suing to block New York's ill-conceived congestion pricing plan. The MTA says the plan that will toll drivers entering Manhattan below 60th Street if they leave the highways will cut down on congestion, reduce emissions, and fund mass transit. The agency has not decided what tolls will cost and which drivers will be exempt, but some drivers on Staten Island say they deserve to be exempt. Everything is going up. They're going to increase now gas, electric, 8, 9 percent. Then the toll here, you go into Manhattan now, it'll cost you maybe $75. By the time you park, you pay for the bridge, you pay for the congestion. So back out here live, once again, you are looking at some of that technology that the MTA has already started to install uh, in, in preparation of congestion pricing taking effect next spring. Now, in response to this potential Staten Island lawsuit, I actually reached out to the MTA uh, yesterday about all of this, and they really had no comment except to refer me to the statement that they put out last week about New Jersey's lawsuit. They called that lawsuit completely baseless and said that the congestion pricing plan went through a thorough review economically and environmentally, and they are confident that it will stand up to any court challenges. For now, all we know right now for sure is that congestion pricing is set to take effect here in Manhattan next spring, April 2024. That is the latest from the Upper West Side. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News.